Okay. So in today's gospel, we have the story of two miracles. Okay. First was the miracle of uh, the raising from the dead of the daughter of Jairus, who was a synagogue official. And on the way there, so Jairus approached Jesus and said, you know, my daughter is sick. Could you please lay your hands on her to cure her? Okay. And then, um, um, along the way, along the way to Jairus' house, uh, there are plenty of people. And our Lord um, uh, was being pressed from all sides by plenty of people. And there was a woman who had been sick for 12 years. She had hemorrhages for 12 years and no doctor could cure her. And she thought to herself, if only I could touch the tassel of, her, of his cloak, I will be healed. Okay? And so she tried to inch her way to Jesus and actually touched uh, his clothing. And Jesus was surprised. Said, who touched me? And the apostles asked, well, there's so many people here. And you ask, who touched you? And the other woman, realizing that she was the one that Jesus was looking for, said, well, it was me. And then Jesus said, well, okay, good. Your faith has saved you. Okay. Then on the way to Jairus' house, uh, he realized that people were already mourning because the girl that he was supposed to cure already died. And Jesus tells them, no, the girl is not dead. She's asleep. And everybody mocked him. And in the end, Jesus uh, uh, brought her back to life. Now, uh, you would notice that our Lord tells both Jairus and this woman. He tells Jairus, no worry, just have faith. And then tells the woman, your faith has saved you. Okay? What is our Lord trying to teach us here? He's trying to teach us that we need a virtue of faith. Faith is an important supernatural virtue that we should foster and we should live by. In today's gospel, our Lord has a requirement of these two people he cured. What is that requirement? That they should have faith. If they want to get cured, they should have faith. And it was their faith that cured them. Okay? Many times we, we have friends and family, and even us ourselves, we pray for people who are sick. Right? In every rosary and at masses, we pray for our relatives and friends who are sick. And people ask and beg for prayers from everybody else. What are they hoping for? What are they actually hoping for? Are they actually hoping to get cured from their ailments and sicknesses? Uh, and, and, and when our Lord says to, to these people, just have faith, what does he really mean to ask of us when he says, have faith? Does it mean to say, we have to have faith that we will get cured from cancer or from whatever sickness uh, people are afflicted with? Is that what he actually wants us to, to believe in? Eh? That we will actually get cured or these people will actually, asking for prayers will actually get cured? What do you think? What is, the, what is the basis of that faith? What is that faith that our Lord is asking us to have, which he also asked Jairus and this woman, embrace the woman to be having? What do you think is that faith all about? Trust in God. Trust, trust in God. To trust what? Of God. Huh? Of Jacob? God. To trust the will of God. Yeah, okay. To trust that God is going to do what? And so what happens if God does not grant the cure of a sickness? Huh? So are we going to lose our faith now and say, ah, well, God is useless. He didn't actually cure me or didn't, didn't grant the, the, the request of, of prayers to cure this person. So what happens to, the, to our faith now? Are we all of a sudden going to say, okay, I, I don't need faith. Faith is useless. Hmm? So what is the faith that God is asking of us? What is the real faith here that God asked Jairus to have and praised the woman to have? What is that trust about? Hmm? That God knows what's the best. That God knows what is best for us. Very good, Jacob. Okay? That God knows best. 
that God has our good in mind, first and foremost. That God has our benefit and our, our, the good of our soul as His primary interest in mind. Okay? That is what we have to have faith in. That God knows what you need even before you ask it, right? There's that other, there's that other uh, gospel um, uh, um, passage which, tell, which tells us about the providence of God. How God knows what we need even before we ask it. So our faith, the faith that he has asked of Jairus and the faith of this woman is all about trusting that God knows best. That in the interest primarily of our own salvation and of our own sanctity, God is going to grant what is good for us. And many times, what is good for us is not what we're asking for in prayer. Okay? Many times, we are oblivious of the greater good that God has in mind for us. But there is precisely where we should have faith. We should precisely have that faith that God knows better than us. That God is going to give us what is best for our soul, for our sanctity, for our salvation. And if that includes getting cured and, and being given uh, uh, all sorts of blessings and riches and what have you, because we are going to generate more good by having all of that, then all the better. Right? All the better. So, we have to have faith, and that is the kind of faith that God is asking of us and is teaching us to have in the light of today's gospel. That our faith should be based on trusting that God knows best. Okay? That's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.